amazing. It was overcast when I left home, and I get in the river and the bloody sun comes out. Anyway, I'm back in a little town on water. Come back here after we've had well, about four days ago, and we had 70 odd mils of rain, and uh, still run a bit high, very dark. Very dark, but I don't know, I don't know how it's going to fish. But, uh, just have a couple of little flicks in here. Trout followed it all the way then. And he's, you see the white, whites of his jaws right behind it then. But he didn't take it. He just, uh, just had a little sort of come at it, but then just sat back off it, bugger. There you go. It's, no, it's not the same one though, it's a little smaller fish. Took it. There he is. Yeah, only a little, little tacker. Look at him. Little bugger. So we'll get him off and uh, put him back in the drink. Right, he's back in the water. Oh, off we go again. See if we can get another one there. See if we can... uh, the big fella comes out. The bigger one. I so say he probably spotted me anyway and spooked him off, so... Ah, we'll move on. Oh, I just had to get around a bit of a log down a bit further upstream. Oh. <laughs> He's gone. Here's only little, come on. Right, 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 we're back into it again. Right. Very tight, tight here, there's no margin for error. It's, it's hard to get a long, long cast in without hitting the bloody trees and stuff over overhead. Right, back in a bit more open area here now. Oh, Jesus, not good underfoot here. Ooh, hit it, didn't take it. Bugger, things I go through to get to the next stretch of water, it's really ridiculous sometimes. Oh. Up and down, oh holes, logs, oh, ow, head button, or bloody timber above your head. Oh. Oh, gotta get good footing before you get up and out of these joints. Oh, and there, it's worth it when you see the next oh, stretch of water. Uh, ahead here. Uh, there's a nice bit of water here to fish, so we'll see how we go. Right, oh, no. Should be a trout near you, see, wouldn't you? Beautiful bit of water. Ooh. Oh, geez, they're not really, they're not really aggressive hits, they're just coming up behind it, sucking on it. Need something to be, need something to be real, real aggressive and take it. Right, now we've got the plain copper aglia this time, guys. Ooh, there we go. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? There, you go. there he is, breaking the surface. Very nice fat fish too. Yeah. Holding the he's up, he's up again. Ah, beautiful. Lovely little fat brown. A copper aglia. You're going to stay on for a little bit longer. 
I would just get him off and send him on his way. Right, hey, bud. You ready to go? Up you go. There you go. Yeah, so that was just cast into that river bank over there and a couple of turns of ruin, bang, he took it. So, very good. So we cast directly up the front. Whoa, wind caught that there. Could have been messy. In the next water. Oh, it looks like a pocket of water. I just hooked and lost one in that uh, bit of water there. Uh, got him. Oh, he's a nice little fat bugger too. Lovely fish. Here he comes. Oh, come on, stop fighting there. Come on, don't touch that. Let's get the net. Get the net ready, bring it in. There you go. Oh, lovely fat thing. I think I need a deeper net for this bloody river. This, the shallow net's uh, not too good. It's alright for little fiddlers, but start getting decent fish on it. But, um, it's no good at all. Anyway, that trout there, fourth for the day. It's also trout number 300 for me for the season, which I'm really, really stoked with. Yeah, very happy, very happy indeed. Yeah, so trout number 300 is ready to go, and as you can see, just behind his tail down there, the, net, the, the treble hook just popped out when he was jumping around. So, fishing gods helped me out here today on this one. Hello, right Bubby. Bubby, go. Ah. Anyway, little fella. Follow that all the way in there, wouldn't take it. It's the difference between fishing in a bit of fast water and a bit of, bit of slow water. Sometimes I'll take it, and sometimes they won't. Probably a little hard body there would have would have done the job. Surely you make it tough. He's following me, following me Andy King, look. Bugger. Oh, I was just having a little tiddler. There he goes. Didn't have me camera on. <laughs> flicked it straight up into this river here. The platypus went through. And I flicked it straight through the centre of the river there. And this little fella grabbed it on the way back down. So I'll get him off and send him on his way. Oh, right, baby, off you go. There you go. So there you go. Nice little cup of water here. He was, he was tagging on the end of that, just going boop, boop, hanging on to it, but he didn't take the bloody treble. So he's, that's oh, him gone. Let's see if we get something up here. Oh, look at that, it's right behind it. 
They, that's what they're doing now, they just come up behind, they're not taking it, they're just coming up behind it, nipping it. No, there's no, no aggression in them anymore. What I've done, I've put a white miller on, just to see if anything will happen. It's only got one hook on it. Probably, probably too late now since I already had that trout follow the lure, but anyway. Oh, that's what I hate about fishing in the hot summer, summer weather, humid days. You come up for all this to get out the Buddy River and head back to the car. Just hate it. Right, well that's another, another achievement out of the road today. Is, He's uh, catching those five trout. The fourth one was the one I was after. The, hit the 300 mark for the season, which I was pretty pretty stoked with. And um, yeah, all you know, I think I had eight eight or nine hookups all together for five landed, which wasn't wasn't too bad given the conditions. A uh, very humid, um, easterly breeze, which didn't didn't help. And um, yeah, and then sun on the water on and off. Uh, and the water's pretty pretty dull, pretty dark colour. And Run a little bit high. I think it just needs to drop a fraction, and I just need a wind from the a, a, a wind wind W I N D <laughs> from the from the west. Yeah, or southwesterly, and uh, I'm sure it'll be a lot better fishing. And and let that river drop a couple inches, or uh, it'll be perfect. And I just have one more achievement to do, and hopefully I'll do that on the next trip. And uh, you'll find out what it is when it happens. So next time, guys. Thanks for watching, and tight lines.